It's March 2020. The world's in the grip of a terrible virus. The coronavirus. Is the human race about to be faced by some terrible acropolis? Apocalypse. But I'm not here to talk about that. Why would I? It's biology. No, I'm here to talk about electromagnetic induction. Drop it down. So I was thinking to myself, here we are in this apocalyptic situation. How can I make my own electricity when civilization ends and everybody starts eating each other's brains? It's actually quite simple. All you need is a magnet and a wire. Look, I'm making electricity just by waving a wire around in a magnetic field. As long as there is a change in the flux linkage, a potential difference and therefore a current will be induced. I can do this by moving the wire or moving the magnet. It doesn't really matter. As long as one of them's moving, a current will be induced. This is called electromagnetic induction. Notice when I move the wire one way, the electricity flows in one direction. And as I change the direction of the movement, it flows in the opposite direction. Amazing! Amazing! This means that I'm inducing an alternating current, a current that changes in both size and direction at a regular frequency. We interrupt this video for an apology from the production team. You may well have noticed, and I've been asked to point out, that the filming and production values are not quite as good as they normally are in one of our productions. Here we are, trapped inside because of the coronavirus. 2020. I've isolated myself in this school to protect my loved ones. And Brian. And I'm having to film myself because I'm isolating myself from the rest of the crew. Brian, my normal cameraman, is outside. We truly are cutting edge. And thanks to the virus, soon all science videos will be made this way. Now, back to the science. That is a pathetic amount of electricity I'm making though. How could I increase the size of the induced potential difference or the induced current? One thing I could do is, I could use a get a stronger magnet, but to be honest that is quite a strong magnet anyway. Or I could move the wire faster, that would cause a larger induced EMF uh, current, sorry potential difference, EMF anyway. Um, or, or I could coil the wire, let's try that. So if I coil the wires, I've now got two coils. Let's see what happens. <gasps> I'm getting twice as much electricity. What I was trying to say was, you can increase the size of the induced potential difference or current by using a stronger magnet, increasing the number of coils on the wire, or by moving the conductor faster through the lines of magnetic flux or vice versa. In other words, move the magnet faster. The induced EMF potential difference is directly proportional to the rate of change of the flux linkage. This is known as Faraday's law. In plain English this means the bigger the area of the coil, the stronger the magnetic field, the more turns the coil has and the faster we rotate it in the magnetic field, the greater the induced EMF, posh word for voltage, that we'll get back out. What about if I try three coils? I should get three times as much electricity. I think I'm onto something here, don't you? It's working. I'm making nearly as three times as much electricity now. I have to film this myself. This is ridiculous. Right. Lockdown me is correct. If I had 10 coils, I'd get 10 times as much electricity. If I had 100, I'd get 100 times as much electricity induced voltage out. If I had a million, execute, well, you get the idea. Remember, this could save your life during the crapple apocalypse, which is about to hit us all. And don't forget to stock up on sausages. Okay, quite bored with this. There's got to be an easier way to generate electricity than me waggling a wire around for ages. There's got to be a better way. Here's something I prepared earlier. This is much better. Look, I'm even lighting an LED. Electromagnetic induction is absolutely vital. It's how most of our electricity is generated, whether we're talking about fossil fuel power stations, nuclear power stations, wind power, or hydroelectricity. Today, it's intense it's fires it. burning in each of the four huge furnaces at the East Lake plant. Almost instantly, the heat turns the purified water in the boiler tubes into steam. 
which is directed against the blades of a turbine at tremendous pressure. So in the turbine room, steam becomes mechanical energy, turning the shaft of this giant turbine at 60 revolutions per second, 3600 per minute. All of these methods of power generation involve incredibly large magnets being spun around by turbines in huge coils of wire. This causes an alternating current to be induced in the coils of wire, which then can be transported across the country efficiently through the national grid. Well, give up rubbish. Electromagnetic induction, anyway, you move a wire, you move a magnet, get one of them to move, so the lines, so uh, the conductor cuts through the lines of flux and it causes an induced PD, an induced uh, current. Um, stronger the magnet, bigger the current. The uh, more coils you have in the magnet than the, uh, under the magnet, there's coil. Oh, come on, I've had enough. It's the end! Is this what it's come to, really? Coronavirus has brought us all down, hasn't it? Me especially to this. Isolated. Trapped. Yeah? Won't mind, Brian. You have to stand outside behind that window because I'm so dangerous just because I sneezed once, coughed, whatever. Yeah? A once great size presenter. Trapped inside like a caged animal. Brian, come on. Brian, let me out now. Come on, it's been a joke. It's been three weeks, Brian. Come on. No come on, no, Brian, please. Just... I'm starving. Maybe one day. We haven't got a beard. Come on, Brian. Look, stop laughing, Brian. It's not funny. No, no, I'm sorry, Brian. I'm sorry for all the things I've done to you, Brian. I didn't mean to run over your cat, did I? Or enough of your life. No, really. I mean, ugh, got a man. Come on, Brian. Especially the last one. I mean, she's not even a nice person, is she? And this is your favourite, really. No? Oh, Brian, please. I'm begging you. Brian, please. Brian, don't walk. Brian, don't walk away, Brian. 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 Please.